Before the podcast started, we just finished the X Men show, bro. Yeah, guys. What is your What is your if reaction? You're not tuning into the X Men show. You are truly missing out. Oh, that is show. like peak animation right now. I didn't like the animation at first, and then I looked at it. I'm like, hold on, they got blood in here. This is bro, like, oh, it's like, it's like, it's like a C, it's not CGI, but it's like a CGI like two D two D animation. That it's like. Just, Old school, but with like mixed with like the new school yeah, technology, and, like, and just mixed with that 4K yeah. resolution. That shit is so sexy, bro. Oh my gosh, bro. the story, the story is pretty good. Story's really good. Nah, it's that last fun. episode. Oh my god! Spoilers if you didn't see that last episode. They they finally did what they did in the comments. They did the Magneto to the Wolverine with the pulling out his adamantium. That shit was. Crazy! Oh my gosh, bro! I, that that boy was baffled. He like, the fuck just happened, bro? <laughs> I thought cause it imploded, bro. Nah, bro. Even even when I first saw, cause I ain't gonna hold you, I see it before I even watched. It. I was like, what the fuck just happened, bro? I was like, what did I just miss, bro? <laughs> bro, like the fact that he like I always thought who like who be able to do some shit like that to movies to take his metal out of his body, and they just fucking exposed it. That shit was crazy. That's now, if you know, I ain't really too deep in the comments, but if you know, this this sets up the the part for onslaught. What, what do you mean by onslaught? Onslaught's a character. He's uh, Professor X. Yeah, I believe he uh, takes over Magneto's mind and really? becomes one or some shit like that. So is Magneto and Professor X? Yeah, in the same. But I think it's mainly Professor X control, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, so you think that's what's gonna happen I, next? I believe they might be bad, low key. So that's just oh, evil. S- yeah. Oh my god. So that shit's gonna set up a crazy storyline now. Not an onslaught's gonna be part of the story. So you think that's what's gonna happen in the last episode? They they might. Uh, I feel like they they have to show him in the next episode because I think that literally is what happens next. Like, I think Mac, Professor X runs up to Magneto and like grabs his fucking head and, and and does that shit. Wow. And then it also sets up for Wolverine, right? Well, this might take a, make some time take some time because um since he has no adamantium in his um atom. Uh, adamantium in his body. Yeah. I believe this is gonna like kickstart his true powers. Cause Wolverine's like true powers like animalistic like, yeah. like beast powers, right? Mm-hmm. That was before he got the adamantium put in his body. Mm-hmm. So now that he don't got in his body, it's like gonna it was like suppressing his, his true powers. Oh, so now he's gonna like So this I think this is gonna be called they're gonna introduce it's called Feral Wolverine. Feral? Yeah, like he's like way more crazier and tweaking type shit. That's not the one where he has like the the things is bones, right? Yeah. Oh, that is? Yeah. Like from the movie? It's just going to be bones because you're going to animate him in his body now. Oh, so that's going to make him, so it makes him like adapt to it, basically. Yeah, but like he's going to be like more like fucked up in the head now. Oh, so he's just going to be like. Oh, more... some saber tooth tire, tiger type shit, I think. Wow, that's actually nuts, yeah, bro. Yeah, I, I, ne- I never seen this adapta- adaptation of anything, so. so. So do you think they're going to like keep making more seasons of that? They have. I think that they already they already um announced that they going they have a season two plan mm-hmm. and they're working on season three. Wow, that's good. Yo, I'm not gonna lie because you know what it is. D- the DC animated like movies has kind of fallen off a little bit. Well, I I see the last. I think it was like the Crisis for Yes, for, I watched that one. It was like, it wasn't. It was okay. The animation. Th- that's what I'm saying. The animation. I, I can tell by just looking at the animation. Don't, don't look. It looks look too busted. kitty, bro. Like I thought this I didn't like this one because I thought it was too kitty. You know kiddie. what they do? You know what makes it look kitty? They have the fucking black outlines around them. Yes, bro. Thick as fuck. And it I don't was like, like a that, cartoon. Bro. I liked it when it looked mad dark and gloomy like, like an adult one? show. Like the like first if, one. If you watch the one, uh the one that shit looks so good to me, it's called Atta- Assault on Arkham. Yeah, 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 yeah. That I shit was that clean, one was bro. fire, bro. That shit was clean. When they was all trying to break into like the the, the yeah, prison or whatever. Animation like that for the DC is good as fuck. Like I don't know why they keep changing. Like they trying to they trying to upgrade it, but it's like going backwards. Like it looks bro, so mid. Oh no, man. This X Men got some. This X the DC got some competition out of this X Men. Yeah. I, I feel like they come up with a new with a new animated series. I want to say for Batman, a Flash animated series. That would be fire. Animated, not not live action like that fucking bullshit that was on Netflix. I ain't like that. That shit looked. Which retarded. one? The the real the real Flash? Yeah. Which one? The CW Flash? I think so. Yeah. You didn't like it? <laughs> I mean, granted, like I feel like the best the the best like DC animated movie that came out like like the like the latest ones was the freak was the one with the uh, Green Lantern with John Stewart in it. I forgot the the one that with the one? rings. That was the best one. About. That was the best. No, no, that, that's not the best one in total. But like the last, the best one since I heard this, about, like the last you got, good you one. Got the Death of Superman. That shit was so good. Yeah, you watch that one? bro, I watched all of them, bro, in order. Bro, I, I think 
I, I like that version of the DC, bro. That's what I'm saying. It looks so much cleaner. I like that one, bro. That shit is so clean. Like, it just looks nice. Like, I just feel like they're trying like too that, hard. Like that, because it was like a whole little timeline. It was like the, the War for G- Justice League. Yeah. Uh, Apocalypse. I watched that movie like shit. five times. Yeah, that shit's good as fuck, My bro. man freaking, uh, what's his name? Constantine was so scary. <laughs> he said, I'm out of here. He see this girl getting croaked and leave left, bro. X-Men. That is the new shit right now. That shit is so good. Nah. Tune into that, bro. For real. Oh my god, my boy, my boy Gambit, bro. He went out like a damn, game, bro. He went out like a G, bro. So dirty, bro. He went out like a G, bro. They did Gambit so dirty. That was probably one of the best ways that somebody could go out there. I ain't gonna hold you. Yo, for real, bro. Bro, touch him. He said, he said, he, he said, said you gonna some remember shit. my name or something like yeah, that. Yeah, he said, he said Gambit's the name. And then the whole shit just glows up and blows up. I'm like, what the fuck, bro? Oh, my gosh, yeah. bro. And bro, then- that just solidifies Gambit. Like, I feel like people were looking at Gambit like, bro, he's just some car throwing ass motherfucker that can't do shit. I feel like everybody likes Gambit, though, because the way how he is. Bro, Gambit cool as fuck. I always thought of Gambit some cool ass motherfucker. Yeah, bro. I the feel way like he talked, bro. Yeah, he's just his, cool. His fit clean as fuck, bro. Yeah, he got a tough ass fit. Bro, he got fit- that country little accent he got, yeah, like bro. a cowboy. Bro. <laughs> RP, my the man. The way he Gambit, went out, that shit was so tough. I never, I, like I told you, I never knew Rogue was that OP, bro. Rogue is crazy, bro. I didn't know Rogue, Rogue was that OP. Well, I think Magneto is so fascinated with her, bro. Like, she can literally just touch anything and, like, does she, and she, like, takes her, their powers or, like, what, what she can recreate it? it. Some shit like that, bro. Or, like, her, because I know, like, that when there was giving birth to freaking her son, she, like, took the, 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 the knowledge of, like, the doctor so she was able to do it. That's freaking cheese. Like, who, th- yo, that's wild. You know what else I found out? You know, Nightcrawler? Yeah. Do you know the X Men mutant called uh, Mystique? Yeah. She's well, you're like, talking about the one that that he's um, like blue and like yeah, 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 yeah. You know that Nightcrawler's mom? Really? Yeah. So wait, so who's his dad? It's some other guy. It's like some devil looking guy. Wait, but the I, one from the movie? Not the one from the movie. The I'm one not sure because I know I think in another story I think Nightcrawler Mystique she shape shifted into a fucking guy. Yeah. And gave birth. Like made like sex with somebody else and like gave birth to that nigga. Really? Because yeah. I don't know if you remember the 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 old um X Men movies. I th- was it for? It might have been First Class. You remember? Was First Class the one with um Havoc and all of them in it? I think so. So remember that one scene where they was all in the in the freaking uh in the mansion and like those guys came to try to take them and like they put that that black dude the one that adapts everything he freaking put like a, a bomb on him he exploded. Yeah. There was one guy that was like he looked like a devil. He looked like he did like what Nightcrawler does like uh, teleports and stuff. He like was he pink? He was like red. Yeah, I think that might be his father. Oh my gosh. That might be his father. Yo, in the show, Nightcrawler was going stupid, bro. Like in the movie. See, look, this is what I'm talking bro, about. He be speaking that literature, bro. Bro, this man is <laughs> he be speaking that literature, this bro. Freaking, this guy's like a German, uh, a German demon, bro. But the, like, like in the real life movies, where are you looking at right now? Let well, me this see. This is his father right here, bro. What's his name? His movie. name is My name is As Azel. 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 Yeah, that's what the guy looked like. But he, he didn't have like that um that uh metal on him though. So Mystique had sex with him as a man? I think, bro. I didn't know Cable was what's his name's son. Yeah, I didn't know that either, bro. Like, I'm like, what? Dad, that that junk had me lost. I'm like, nah, this is crazy yeah, work. So Mystique is Nightcrawl Mystique is who? Is Nightcrawler's father. Oh, she transformed into him. What you mean? To, the, to him. Oh, and then has sex with somebody? With a, with, a, with, his, with a mother. That's crazy. See, like, when I was watching the whole anime thing, like, I thought, like, in the in the real life movies, because, like, you know, I'm not really into the comments that much, but I'm starting to get back into it. Like, the real life X-Wing movies, freaking Cyclops is not that OP. He's nice in this. He's nice He's fuck. like the leader. Nigga, literally the first episode, bro, he did, that, was, he did a shit where he blasted the fucking ground. I was like... What happened to what happened to what's his name Bishop? Did he die? Bro, they got, said they said he got lost in, in when they time traveled. Really? Yeah, he got lost when they time traveled. Oh my! Because I was that's why, that's why him and Nathan split apart. Oh, that's why I was like, where the heck did he go? Bishop Loki OP too, bro. Bro, I was, bro, it was so crazy when I found out, like um, the fucking Nathan. He tried to stop that um, Genosha from happening yeah. like, a couple times. Uh-huh. I was like, damn, that's sad as fuck. Nigga had to walk up to his mom like fucking four times to see her die. Mm-hmm. It's crazy, bro. And then he freaking killed That him. whole shit fucked up in the beginning, though, when they, when they, when they swapped Jean Grey. Yeah. That shit still had me looking. I was like, um, this man who, has se- nigga? He had sex with a clone. Yeah. 
So, but I was like, bro, when the fuck did this happen? Did it just happen randomly off screen or some <laughs> shit, bro? I don't know, bro. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it. I'm gonna really go get it.